so last week we talked about integrating tape deck toroids into Zan's diamond in such a way that the uh, kind of straight lines, both horizontally and vertically, that cut Zan's diamond in half become tape deck toroids and thus literally become straight lines instead of just uh, the kind of anti-spin straight lines that we normally put in there, right? Um, but the thing that actually inspired me to get into this was playing around with the body traced version of the tape deck toroid and realizing that that could easily be stuck into that horizontal traverse, right? Which I personally think looks really, really cool in and of itself. But it also leads down a bit of a rabbit hole for talking about uh, those body tracing tape deck toroids in a context of the verticals in addition to the horizontals. Let me show you what I mean. So last week we talked about having uh, the verticals of the tape deck toroids such that they're kind of pushing out towards the audience on the sides, right? But there's no reason that we can't take a similar method to the one that we're using on the sides here where one of the poi does a body tracer and the other one does the uh, the tape deck toroid across and apply it in this kind of environment. And specifically the way I'm thinking about it is that the top hand is going to do a body tracer down behind the shoulder and the front hand, or rather the bottom hand, as it's going up, is going to shoot out towards the audience and arrive at a place where it is once again wall plane. So kind of like this. Kapom, up, while the other hand is going bapom, behind the shoulder, yeah? And that winds up looking like this. And of course, my uh, I'll be the first to admit that my planes definitely need a little bit of work as I'm playing around with this, but it's at least a start. Whew. Just doing this alone is really a challenge, but integrating it in becomes a bit easier. Cool, so let's play around with that just a little bit. Let's say for the sake of argument that we're just going to do the body tracers top down since we've already done them side to side. In which case, we're looking at go across, up, do the tracer. Across, up, do the tracer. Across, up, do the tracer. Across, up, do the tracer, right? Uh, and the cool thing about that then is that we can put in the tracer uh, both on the horizontal and the vertical. So we get this lovely pattern. Which, you know, I, I personally think may be edging on just a little bit too complicated to really be worthwhile, but it was a fun challenge getting it down, so I'm going to hold on to it for now, right? And of course, the beautiful thing about playing around in this arrangement now is that we're free to swap in the body traced uh, tape deck toroids as well as the normal tape deck toroids at any point. So for example, I can do my normal tape deck across, pop up, do the body tracer. I can do the body tracer across, pop up, and I can do the standard. I can mix and match however I see fit, which I personally dig a lot. It's one of those lovely things that comes out of a framework when all the pieces are just fitting together beautifully, yeah? So, yeah, um, this was really fun to play around with. I hope you guys enjoy it too. And uh, again, I, I, one of the things I really love about tape deck toroids is that they're getting a step-by-step -step a little bit closer to a place where toroids uh, kind of look ready for prime time, where they're not just kind of wonky planes that are doing whatever, but are things that we can integrate into patterns that we already know to create things that are even more beautiful as a result of them, because of course, they have that uh, 3D quality to them, yeah? Cool. So thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a great week. Peace. Hi, thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Doing so will help other people find my content and it lets me know that I'm creating videos that are worth seeing. Also, check out my website at drexfactor.com. There, you can purchase sets of poi like the ones I use in my videos and get access to a great range of written inspirational content plus which you can subscribe to my videos there in the form of a podcast. Finally, if you go to flowtoys.com, you can enter in my special promo code and get a small discount on your order. Doing these things helps support me in my flow journey, and it means that I can make more videos for you guys. So, thank you in advance for your support.